Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and in this video we're going to be going over zoom lock, push to connect, refrigerant fittings. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. In today's video we're going to be going over zoom lock, push to connect, refrigerant fittings. Yes, that is correct. We no longer need a torch and we no longer need an expensive crimping tool to connect refrigerant fittings. With this fitting, you can simply push it and you're ready to roll. Just a heads up, if you find this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as they come out with new videos every week and let's get straight into it. Here's a close up look at the zoom lock push fitting. Specifically, this is a half inch coupling and I must say it is a bit bulky but it looks super heavy duty. Stated on the fitting itself, as you can see on the bottom half, it says it's rated for 870 PSIG, which is pretty astounding. It's pretty amazing that they came out with something where you don't need to use a torch. And at the same time, everybody knows those crimping tools are extremely expensive. They are super cool, but they're extremely expensive in the thousands of dollars. We no longer need that tool and we can simply push to connect. It is absolutely revolutionary. Here's a side profile view of the fitting. As you can see, it looks like there are two side glasses. It's actually clear and you can see through it. This coupling seems to be around the average size and it is two inches. Each end comes cap and we're gonna take a closer look on the inside. There is a clear gasket inside and I must say, this is a very interesting looking fitting. What's really cool about this is that this is actually a removable coupling. So if for some reason you mess up or you wanna take it off, you can just simply use a special tool that they sell where you could just snap off the coupling and reuse it. It is absolutely genius. There are many pros to this, not having to use a torch and things of that sort, but the cons that I do see is that they are a bit bulky and they are expensive. You do need to take into account that you are going to be saving on equipment. You no longer need your B tank, nitrogen tank, your regulators, torch tips, and all these things. At the same time, you're not going to have to run to the supply house to pick up all your gases, nitrogen, oxygen, acetylene, plus having to buy brazing rods. All that stuff is time consuming and expensive. So, you know, you do make your balance there. At the same time, you also don't need that expensive crimping tool anymore. So, it's up to you, but from here, I'm going to show you how to install these. They are super simple. Yes, they are push to connect, but there's prepping involved. Here's a quick look at the instructions before we begin. Here is a piece of half inch tubing with a tubing cutter. We're going to want to start off with having a nice clean cut. From here, they want you to deburr the inside and the outside of the piping. With this tool, you can deburr the outside and the inside of your fittings. Follow the arrows on the tool and at the same time hold the pipe down so you don't get any of the shavings inside of the pipe. As you can see, we have a nice clean surface on the outside and the inside. Next, they want you to sand down the piping and they mentioned how they don't want you to have any kind of lines or streaks. So instead of the rough sandpaper, I'm going to go with the scotch pad. Now that is a beautiful thing. From here, you should inspect your piping, make sure it has no defects. Then from there, you can mark your fitting. They do have a special tool there to mark it. But from here, we're just going to freehand things as this is a demonstration and we're ready to push to connect. From here, we're just simply going to push to connect. Video caught a terrible angle, but I pretty much just pushed it in and it is complete. And we're going to do the same for the opposite end. The next piece of pipe is prepped and ready to go. Let's just push to connect. That's it. I must say it is pretty amazing that you can just push to connect refrigerant piping. One thing you would notice is that you could spin the pipe, but it spins with a little gasket inside and that is perfectly normal. And wow, just super easy to use. If for some reason you need to redo the fitting, 
you could actually remove the coupling with a special tool that they sell, which looks like a very basic and simple tool that shouldn't be expensive. And just having that feature, honestly, is definitely a plus. Hopefully this inspired you and gave you some ideas in the field where if you're in a pinch, this could definitely save you. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.